Um, today we will discuss my top three favorite dog breeds. And those uh, I will mention, this will be a short video but sweet, <coughs> but I will also tell you why I chose these three breeds. And they are based on three parameters. One, character. Two, performance. And three, practicality. And we'll come back to that later. So first off, uh, I mentioned the characteristics that made this top three. And now I will also discuss why these top three have come so far. So the top three that I mentioned are of three different uh, sizes. From small to medium to medium and to big. So the small to medium one is the dogs that I currently have, the Petter Dog Terrier. And in this form, the smooth coated variety, the medium one is the Irish Staffordshire Bull Terrier, that was the dog that I had before. And the third dog I never had myself, but I will describe to you why. And I was close to getting one. The third dog is a larger dog in this uh, American Sentinel canine. So, why these three dogs? They all have uh, a character that's quite intertwined. They mainly carry a lot of bull and terrier blood. All of them in a character is that of a quite silent dog, but very dependable. Also in the face of danger, these dogs can work very well. Function well, are not that barky at all, but are very stress proof. That's what I like. They all <coughs> are also very good with children, and they will do as much as they can also to protect you if someone would try to really, really hurt you. Not so much your property, that could be the different American Sentinel canine, which is purpose bred to only do defending and a little bit of hunting of hawks but I'll come back to the nature so let's go from small to medium then to large and discuss it along the way and I will dip into the three characteristics before doing so first first of character I already mentioned her and then we have two remaining parts one being practicality I want to talk to be easy so not barking enormously uh, much, as little as possible, but will bark when needed. Also, I want uh, practicality that they have a short coat. This is not only an aesthetic benefit, because you see very nice uh, muscles, but also that it doesn't attract dirt. And not attracting dirt is a good thing, because you just take it off. And when they are playing in the mud, you see how they glow. And they will Drawbacks. It will just try to repel, try to repel the the dust. And for colorations, I had my last dog was a very white dog. Of course, white dogs have the benefits. For example, pigs and fleas don't like that because they are feel exposed. But yeah, especially combined with the short coat. But I like the darker coats more. And why is that? You don't see them that much on the, for example, your upholstery in your car. And that's a big benefit. And also you see very nicely, yeah, I say this, this glow radiance. It's a very healthy dog shows and a white dog just reflects all light. Almost all light. And these dogs also get uh, a lot easier dry again because the sun dries their skin very easy because they have dark coats and also in a COVID situation or if you keep them as a guarding uh, dog when the coat is a little bit darker it is also beneficial then we talked about performance these dogs are for the pound for the kilogram for the relative weight the most powerful derivatives you can get in my opinion could uh, make a case that for example, uh, Irish Staffordshire Bull Terry is not a king of kings in, the, in this uh, discipline. 
what I was actually built there is a working type bull terrier. It's like uh, the Irish English nephew of the original bull terrier that in, in the United States was also developed into American pit bull terrier. The American pit bull terrier is known to be the king of the weight classes. So that's good, give you a good indication. You might also ask why an Irish Chef Chabot Terrier and not an American Pitbull Terrier. An Irish Chef Chabot Terrier has enough performance, very close to an American Pitbull Terrier, but not as good, of course. But it brings a lot of easier character with it. Also, they require less uh, care, on average, than American Pitbull Terriers. And they are bred more people friendly in my opinion, also as a normal house dog because they are not that extreme hyper all the time so on average, I think for a family you would be better off with a performance type Irish Hampshire Bull Terrier than you would with a performance type American Purple Terrier so therefore, it was uh, not in this list but I'm not saying that American Purple Terrier is not a very good dog as you can see, all of the dogs have Bull Terrier influences. I just have Shabu Terrier. Also, it's very close to the American Pitbull Terrier. And the American Sentinel Canine. At this moment, the 75% <coughs> or more less very big. Lines that are also capable of protection. Normally, American Pitbull Terrier is bred to be people friendly. But for the American Sentinel Canine program, they find them with a little bit more of uh, molosser blood to make them uh, bigger and also uh, more of a guardian type of dog instead of a combat type of dog. But with 75% combat type of dog in their makeup, they are essentially 75% American Pitbull Terrier. And they have the combativeness and the agility. All these dogs are very agile, also the Irish Tepsi Bull Terrier and these uh, Petadil Terriers. Combined with the strength and the size of uh, a Molosser. So they might be a little bit smaller than your average Molosser, but they are easily outperforming them. Easily, because their bred with warrior makeup, instead of looking tough, they are tough. Tough as nails. So these bigger types are capable of as you, being used as a catch dog. Also American Pit Bull Terriers sometimes. I just have a few Bull Terriers are used for that. But especially for Spectrum Terriers. They are for catch predators such as fox and badgers. But also more and more used to catch small wild dogs or uh, work with a, with a team to also catch the bigger ones. Why catching a smaller a wild dog with a smaller dog? Because American Pitbull Terrier or American Sentinel, Sentinel K9, of course, are much bigger dogs and much more capable. But these Sweated Terriers are hunting dogs, full stop. And also, uh, a smaller dog will damage a lot less the meat. And also, in some countries, they keep the dogs to catch uh, small hocklets and then feed them <coughs> and have something like a piggy bank for a later time and then if you have a dog that's smaller you will have ease of use you don't have to care that much for the hocklets that they catch because they're not that much damaged and they can keep them and feed them and then slaughter them at a later time when they need them so that's the, the strategy surrounding that there are many other dogs that I really like. So not, do not think that these trees are the definitive words and that no other dog is suitable. Of course not. Also very good dogs that you could consider are Dog Argentino of Working Stock, Bull Lurcher, CrossFit Greyhound and, uh, and Pitbull for example is a very good uh, type of dog to, to consider. Or uh, a better better than whip it because whip that could also be very handy but I chose the dogs that are already capable and very pleasing to what I like in a dog why did I chose these smaller types of dogs now 
so I went down in size instead of going up. Because at one time I considered the Sentinel K9 and the Petrodel Terrier, and I chose the Ivers Bull Terrier. Reason being, Ivers Bull Terrier is a very cool breed, but also they came with a uh, pedigree that is FCE registered. American Sentinel K9 is not FCE registered. It at the time prohibited them, and Petrodel Terriers are still an upcoming working breed that has never uh, had the purpose of being a show breed. So it's not intertwined with FCE. And those dogs could, in the wrong circumstances, be explained as to be pit bull type. And pit bull type of dogs could then be, yeah, regardless of what they ever did, but just based on racial profiling, could be, uh, yeah, killed. That's not what I want for a dog, of course. But now I could get an American Sentinel K9, and I did not get one. I got these petrodo terriers, and why is that? I think the smaller type of dogs are very beneficial for a family because they don't throw your uh, children to the floor, which an American Sentinel K9 can do. It's a man stopper, it can even throw an adult man to the floor. But they can do that even if they just want to play or are excited to see you. Of course, an American Sentinel K9 will not throw its family members to the ground in, in anger. It will do that just by playing. They're quite big, bulky dogs. Also, when you let your kids do, uh, walk your dog, my kids are now uh, they're teenagers, it's easier now. But it will be far easier to control a smaller dog <coughs> than a bigger dog. Also, I don't need my dogs for protection. Uh, if they bark, when something is amiss, this is not for me. American Sentinel K9 is a man stopper. Really bred to protect, and that's not what I need at the moment. So, I really, really like also American Sentinel K9 a lot, and I think you cannot go wrong with the breed of that uh, source. But these little guys can be had from warrior stock, and it's also a little bit different. Huh? If you engage on the ground with fox and badger, you get a very good. Uh, test of character. Will they really, when they are under pressure, not collide, but stay strong? I have such a will tell you. This is a breed that I still have very close at heart. And also there are smaller I have such a will tell you. And I have now um, the bigger size of Petrodo Terriers. Because especially in the States they have them at uh, even at 5 kilograms. The female is 7 to 8, and the male is 12 to 13. So different weight class as the smallest ones. There's more at a bigger spectrum, which could be partially overlapping with the smallest examples of the ISF Shibu Terrier. But the benefit of a Petrodo Terrier is that you don't have that negative halo that some ISF Shibu Terriers uh, do get because they are more, um, how do you say that? They are connected in dots in people's minds more with a fighting dog, whereas these dogs are hunting dogs. So, completely different connotation and that's beneficial. So, you're not stigmatized, but you just have these dogs that are less uh, dog aggressive but more of a hunting type of dog. So on average you get smaller problems than with an Irish of Shibut or in interaction with other animals. Of course, when you are walking them outside and they're on the trail and they find something, these dogs will be harder to recoil from another prey than an Irish of Shibut or would be. Hope this video helps. Have a great day and uh, enjoy your dogs. Bye bye.